Hey Summoners, how's it going? My name is Nathan Ng, and in this video, I'll give you guys a quick preview of what's going to be coming up next patch. Patch 12.18 marks the final set of balance changes for Worlds, so yes, it means this is exactly what the pros will be playing on for the shot at winning it all. If you're curious about the changes, look no further because I'm here to give you an update on what we know. Know that we'll have the full set of changes out for you as soon as possible, so keep an eye out on our channel for those. That being said, make sure you subscribe and let's get started with the video. For the most part, we really expect to see some champion changes coming up. First, we have nerfs for the following champions. Misfortune, Kalista, Hecarim, Kane in his Ross form, Lulu, and Nocturne. A ton of bot lane changes are also on the way, so bot laners and support players definitely need to keep an open mind and be ready for what's to come. Kalista, while a bit weaker in the lower elos, is doing very well in high elo, notably diamond and higher. That said, more skilled players are able to take advantage of not only her early game dominance, but the incredible utility that she brings. Picking her opens a plethora of aggressive options for a support that pro players can especially abuse. Misfortune is currently one of the most dominant marksman picks in the game, so it's no surprise that she faces nerfs with her 53% win rate in high elo. Plenty of these nerfs hit high win rate champions, including a recently miscope reworked Hecarim. His win rate shot up over 2% in high elo following those buffs, but Riot is quickly acting to ensure that he doesn't single-handedly dictate worlds. As he's currently succeeding with a bruiser build, my guess is that you'll have his damage reduced by a bit because he deals far too much damage for how hard he is to kill. Kane, Lulu, and Nocturne also find some impressive results this patch, and we'll have to wait and see to determine which direction Riot decides to take with their nerfs. Next, let's run through the champion buffs. The champions receiving buffs next patch are Ash, Thrash, Lee Sin, and Nasus, a timeless tradition. Riot has buffed Lee Sin just in time for Worlds. He's a fan favorite, so I honestly wouldn't be surprised if there was actually a hidden agenda behind it. I'm afraid that it's more likely that Riot is buffing him simply for underperforming. He currently holds an upper 45% win rate in high elo. That's quite abysmal, and it only gets worse as you track the lower brackets. Expect some big changes, that is, unless you hate him. Next, it's pretty funny to hear that the upcoming Ash buffs are aimed at Marksman Ash. In other words, support Ash is either strong or in a good enough spot that Riot is making an active effort to avoid accidentally buffing it. Because of this, my guess is that they'll target her scaling, likely putting more weight into her crit chance since support Ash tends to build lethality. Nasus is unlikely to see any competitive play. Games tend to be going too fast, and the huge liability that he'll be to his teammates just won't cut it at that level of play. But if the buffs end up being absolutely insane, he might get another chance at the spotlight as a potential counterpick. Finally, I bet a lot of players are hyped to hear that Thresh is getting buffed. Like Lee Sim, he's a ton of fun to watch and a favorite. Just with enough extra strength, he should be serving as a great answer to enchanters that just want to play safe and scale up. Currently sitting at a 49% high elo win rate, he's not too far from being good in the hands of a pro. And there's honestly no limit to the big plays that we can expect to see. Finally, we'll conclude with the champion adjustment. Two champions are set to receive changes to help them better adjust and feel more appropriate by their standards, Maokai and Udyr. In Maokai's case, Riot wants to adjust his role. As a result of this patch, we've seen a massive shift from support Maokai to both the top lane and jungle. Maybe this wasn't enough for Riot, and we'll see which direction Riot wants to take him, most likely even further towards the independent tank route. Udyr, on the other hand, seems to have settled in the right place, a notable bruiser slash tank. I think the reason that Riot is taking this action is that he deals some crazy damage for literally building only tank items. While I don't get paid to balance the game, I'd conclude something isn't fair about his current state. With certain adjustments, likely lower base numbers alongside higher AP and AD scalings, players will definitely need to incorporate more diversity. Again, we'll have all these detailed changes for you very soon, so stay tuned. That covers the patch preview for the next patch, 12.18. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, like the video, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. There's also a link to join our Discord server in the description, so don't be shy and check it out. Take care everybody, and as usual, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.